Welcome back to the channel guys, today Maxon has released Cinebench 2026 and I thought I'd try it out on my um, Intel system and my AMD system but I'll be showing in real time my AMD system due to the capture card so it won't skew the results so I'm using the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D and I'm also using the NVIDIA RTX 5090 specifically the ASUS Tough OC version with uh, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 6,000 mega transfer. So that's pretty much the specs. Yes, the R9 9950X 3D is undervolted and overclocked, and also the RTX 5090 is also overclocked as well. So with this test, it actually has um, a GPU portion as well. And um, I'm not too sure how long the test is, but I've taken out the throttle test just for the interest of time. So I'm just going to run all benchmarks and I'll see what the results are like. And I'll also compare that with my 4900K system paired with my um, RX 7900 XTX. Okay guys, so the results are in for the GPU score on the RTX 5090, I scored 177,635. And in comparison to my RX 7900 XTX, I scored 62,669. So that is a considerable difference. I believe they kind of go by compute performance. So if you're wondering um, how they're getting that metric, that's the, I guess, how they're trying to compare the GPUs. And in terms of the CPU multi-thread score for the 
Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. I scored 10,976 points. My Intel i9-4900KS using the Extreme Profile. So the Extreme Profile is 320 watt limit. And I think it's 400 amps. So it's not completely unlocked, but if you want to keep these CPUs safe, you kind of got to abide by Intel's rules now. And I scored 9,621. For the single core score, it's interesting that they've separated the core and the thread for an individual score, which is interesting. For the 9950X 3D, I scored 807 points, whereas my Intel i9 4900KS scored 745 points. And finally, the single thread score, I scored 591 points on the 9950X 3D, whereas the Intel i9 4900KS scored 575 points for the single thread. So actually not that far behind when it comes to the single core and the single thread score. In terms of the multi-threaded score, um, that actually pretty close as well. It's just a massive, massive difference from the GPU, which is expected the RX 7900 XTX is about three years old now, just barely three years old now. Whereas the 9950X um, 3D is I would say, I don't know, maybe it's four months old now. I'm not too sure. Could be, could be even um, newer than that. So I think the 4900KS is just over a year old now as well. So um, these are some of the top components in the game. And it's interesting to see just how much of a difference there is between the two CPUs. It's not that much, if I'm honest. And I don't believe a 3D cache actually has any real advantages in these types of tests. So that's probably why, but uh, RTX 590 completely dominating here. Anyway, guys, um, I wish you all a happy new year for everyone that has supported me, all of the members. I really, really appreciate you guys. And um, if I don't speak to you guys before the 1st of January, I wish everyone a happy new year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.